A crane is used to hoist a load of mass M1 equals 500 kilograms. The load is suspended by a cable from a hook of mass M2, 50 kilograms, as shown in the diagram above. The load is lifted upward at a constant acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. On the diagrams below, draw and label the forces acting on the hook and the forces acting on the load as they accelerate upwards. So the hook has two forces acting on it from just the tensions. We've got tension 2 pulling the hook upwards, and tension 1 is going to be acting downwards on the hook. The hook also has a mass of 50 kilograms, so there's going to be a force of gravity associated um, as well. So we're going to have three forces in the y direction acting on the hook. And for the load, tension 1 is going to be pulling the load upwards, and the force of gravity is going to be acting downward on the load. Part B, determine the tension T1 in the lower cable and the tension T2 in the upper cable as the hook and the load are accelerated upward at 2 meters per second squared. Okay, so the load, if we're going to find T1 first, let's focus on using the free body diagram for the load because there's only two forces there versus three for the hook. So let's start with load, the load. And we'll start by writing out Newton's second law, which says that the sum of all forces is equal to mass times acceleration in the direction of motion. So plugging in our two forces acting on the load, we're going to have tension 1 minus m1g equals m1a. And that's because the load is moving upwards. We're going to say that t1 is positive and mg is negative. Rearranging, we can add m1g to the other side. And plugging in our values, we get that the tension in the cable 1 is 6,000 newtons. So now that we know T1, we can use that in our free body diagram converted to a Newton second law equation in the, for the hook. So again, we're going to start with Newton second law. Sum of all forces in the y direction equals mass times acceleration in the y direction. And for the hook, we have three forces in the y direction. So we have T2. Uh, minus T1 minus Mg equals M2A. And that's because T2 is pulling upward and our object is moving upward. So T1 and Mg are negative. Rearranging this time for T2, we're going to add T1 and M2G to the other side. And we can also plug in our values. And we get that T2 is 6,600 newtons. And that should make sense because T2 is responsible for holding more weight than T1 there's going to need to be a greater force associated with that.